Black Supremacy. Just want to go live with you. Take any questions or comments. I haven't been here with you all for a while. Black Supremacy. Let's go live. It's whatever y'all want to talk about. Allow some people to get in the room. Black supremacy. A lot of people say when I do these live streams, they don't know about them. I don't even know specifically when I'm going to do a live stream. So you have to follow me on Instagram at King Noble. Uncensored.c.o.m. And then you'll, you'll catch my live streams when I put them up. But like they say, God works in mysterious ways. But yeah, any questions or comments? I see people in the room. Recently, I've been talking about the black supremacists becoming a machine. And what's significant about being a machine is that a machine is focused on its purpose its function and its task without distraction. A machine is going to do what it's here to do. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. And you can't stop a machine if you can't turn it off. It's going to carry out its focus, its mission. So the black supremacists must become a machine. That's how solid that's how serious, that's how sincere that we have to be. We have to become machines for black supremacy. Nothing can stop us. No idea, no thought, no concept, no distraction. That's how solid we are in our devotion and in our meditation, that we are literally machines for black supremacy. And then we'll change this. We'll change this plane. We'll change this paradigm. You want to go live, queen? Let's go live. Yeah, but does she get on? We have to become machines. And a machine is independently focused on its function of what we are supposed to do. So that means we can't hear nothing else. We can't be distracted. We can't be stopped. We can't be sidetracked. We can't be thrown off because we're machines to do what we're supposed to do. The part of you that's nature is supposed to be programmed by your consciousness to carry out a particular function and mission in manifesting black divinity on earth. So to the point when the, the machine is programmed, nature can't even stop you. Your emotions and your feelings cannot even go against you. Nothing can stop you because you're solid. You know what you're here to do. You're devoted. You're aligned and you're making it happen. You're manifesting it, it happening. It's nothing nobody can say to you. Once that machine's activated, once you press start, it's doing the work. So when we become machines, when black supremacists become machines, 
for what we're here to implement, we will see the fulfillment of it. Because a machine ain't care about what nobody think. It don't care about what nobody feel. That machine is only going to do what it is here to do. And that's the end of that. So we got to be like a machine. Now we're in our feelings. So if you're doing stuff out of your feelings, it's based on feelings, then your feelings can be manipulated. You can feel one way to one day and feel a different way the next. But when you become a machine, you will no longer be manipulated anymore. You will no longer be distracted. You will no longer be thrown off. You will know where your integrity and your loyalty lies. And you will be invincible in that. You will be totally resolute. I want to go live. Let's go live. Because I do want to make this open. Any questions or anything people have to have or ask, we can, we can get on that. So become a machine. Become solid. Because we're here to do something. The rest is just a pastime. Everything else is a pastime other than the implementation and the exemplification of the black supremacist state. Everything else is just a pastime. Go ahead, Queen. What? Can you hear me? You got your mic on, or it could be my, that could be my phone. Can you hear me? Okay, you getting a delay. But yeah, becoming a machine. For the purpose and the mission. That's when you become really serious about it, when you become a machine. Everything else is just entertainment. You're just having a good time. You're just looking for a party or something to do. It's a pastime. But when you become a machine, you ain't here to play no games. You solid about what you stand for. You are 100%. You at a 100% level when you get to the machine level. But yeah, questions or comments? Becoming a machine. See, machines, once that machine is clear, it's, that's it. Once it gets programmed for what it's here to do, that's it. See, everybody else, have not be, they're not at a machine level. They're still trying to figure out what their function is or what their purpose is or what they're going to do. They ain't became that machine yet. When you become that machine, we're going to get something done. The black supremacists must become a machine for what we stand for. You can have a nation. You can be about nation building. You can be about consciousness. But if you don't become a machine about getting it done, it ain't going to get done. You're not going to do it. You're going to get distracted. It's going to be a temporary goal. See, Hitler was trying to produce machines. He was trying to turn the Nazis into machines through occult science. Why? Because he understood 
the power of what a machine would be able to do. He knew that if he was going to take over the world, Hitler, that he was going to have to make machines. And I'm not saying this because I condone or support what Hitler did or what his agenda is. I'm just saying we have to become machines to achieve the goals that we want. We're thinking too much. We're feeling too much. We have to become machines for black supremacy, machines that cannot be turned off, machines that do not wear, machines that cannot be hacked. Because a lot of times you're on black supremacy and you're solid, you're making moves and then somebody hack you. And now you're looking into some other information look, and, and, and you're, you're second guessed. And now you, you can't get nothing done. You're back to getting nothing done. You're back to square one again. Then you got to be reprogrammed. Become a machine for black supremacy. How did man transform nature? How did he fashion nature into these cities? He used machines. If you want to fashion this world, you must become a machine. That means you are thoroughly, properly programmed for what you're here to do. And you are functional and capable to do it. And you will not stop until the task is complete. But yeah, any questions or comments? Because I'm going to end this live stream. I just wanted to come on live for a short minute because I haven't been with y'all in a while. See, machines don't get caught up in bullshit. Machines ain't trying to hear your gossip. Machines don't even get caught up in the weaknesses of others. If, they have, if they're weak, or machines don't have time for that. A machine has to do what it came here to do without distraction and with full focus. So you must become a machine of devotion. Become a machine of this mission. I don't want you to get in tune with your feelings. I want you to become equipped machinery to handle this workload that we're going to have to do without fail, without distraction, ceaselessly. See, a machine don't even believe in its own weakness. It don't have time to believe. It can only carry out its function. A machine don't have time to believe or think. It are, it's, the thinking and believing has already went into it at the moment that it was created. So now, once it has, the conclusion is, 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 is programmed into it, it does what it's supposed to do. It's in the do mode now. We're still thinking about what we believe, what we feel, and what about this? How are you going to manifest something? You're saying how the world, why the world has not changed? Because you're still thinking and believing and feeling about shit. When you become a machine to get it done, then it will change. Because that's all a machine can do is do it. The machine don't know nothing else. All they can do is do it. The system is functioning the way it is because it's a machine. It's a machine of an artificial reality. It's a machine of white supremacy. It functions without feelings and without emotions every day. You know that store going to be open. You know that gas station going to be open. 
So when we become machines for black supremacy, then we will have something that is indestructible, that cannot be stopped. Nobody will be distracted. That's the problem. Too many people are, are in their feelings right now. You know, you got Drake's song coming out, talking about he in his feelings. The problem is everybody is in their feelings. Not just people that are so-called in the matrix. Everybody in their damn feelings about this and their feelings about that become a machine for black supremacy. I'm the first to tell you, fuck your feelings. Your feelings have kept you back. Your feelings have been the reason you procrastinated. Your feelings is the reason that you didn't do what you could have done on the level that you could have did it because you was in your feelings. But if you was a machine, you would have did it anyway. You would have bypassed the feelings and you would have got it done and you could feel better about it later. I got a trick too for depression too. A real quick hack for depression. If you depress and don't feel like you just you in a state of depression and you just don't feel good about nothing, then do something powerful that you could feel good about later. So that when you do feel good, that you have something to feel good about. So if you're depressed right now and don't feel like, don't feel good about nothing, don't feel motivated to do nothing, or, or don't feel happy about anything, and, and you can't use happiness as the motivation to do something, then just do something great so that when you do feel happy, now you have something to be happy about. So you're not happy for nothing once you do feel happy again, just in case you're bipolar where one minute you're happy, the next minute you're sad, do something so that the next minute you're happy, you have a real reason of something to be happy about. Become a machine. Become a machine to override the scripts and override the program and you for failure. Become a machine that can override your phantom self. that can override the illusions. Become a machine that cannot be stopped. Not even by your own self, less than somebody else and how they feel that day and what they need to work through and what their problems are and what their issues are. I had to go into that. But for the video that got flagged, I've been telling people, help me get my website back up because I want to do a series to that video. I already got the series laid out. They're not going to let me put it up on YouTube, so I'm going to have to put it up on my own website. But I need your support to help me get my website back up where I can stream these videos over there so you can, you can, you can catch that video because a lot of you all missed it. And it's one of the most powerful videos I've ever did. And it's going to be the most powerful series that I ever did. But I got to get this website back up to be able to stream it. So I'm asking for your support. And you all know how to support me. Just email me at Lord Yeshit and I, L R R D L O R D Y E S H A N Y A at gmail.com. Just email me and, you know, you can donate to help the movement. Let me get this website back going. But become a machine. That's the new message now. Become a machine for black supremacy. And in your machine level, you will transform your body into a god. Because as a machine, you have no option. Once you start functioning as a machine, the body will have to become god in order to carry out the function. So you will become god body. Physically. Because you, your machine doesn't know what it's unable to do. So you would have to transform yourself into an even greater physical being because you would stop at no end in order to achieve the results.
You will become whatever is necessary because you're a machine. You'll become what you need to because you're, you're a certain type of machine that can self-repair, that can build yourself up. We are superhuman. We are supercomputers. We just deal with the aspect of us being nature, but we are actual supercomputers. The artificial intelligence that they want to create is not even 1% of the intelligence of human, human beings that we haven't even tapped into yet. So they can't even make artificial intelligence if they can't even conceptualize it, human intelligence in its unlimited form. They're producing artificial unintelligence because many of us haven't even tapped into our infinite intelligence itself because we are supercomputers, but we are limited by how we have been programmed and what we have been taught, and we have not discovered the programmer that lies within ourselves to program us to achieve whatever it is that we're here to do to achieve infinite possibilities. But you have to have a purpose and a focus, and that's what black supremacy is. It's allowing you to program the machine that you are for your most highest and supreme function to manifest on Earth. And in the condition of, of black people will change, the condition of humanity would change. Now you are a machine for capitalism because you get up and go to work every day and work for the system whether you feel like it or not. That's a machine, but what are you a machine for capitalism? But when it comes to black supremacy and nation building, you all in your feelings. You can't be a machine for black supremacy. That's all emotional. But when it comes to working and paper chasing, then you're a machine for, this, for, the, for the beast. No, nah, you have to become a machine for black supremacy. Because you're a machine program for your own destruction if you're a machine for capitalism, materialism, and white supremacy. A machine of black self-hate. A machine that is competing against your own race and your own kind, against your own people. A machine programmed to compete, not to build up our own nation and our own people. But I just wanted to come live and touch bases with you all. I'll be coming back live soon, putting up some new videos. Black supremacy.